Hello and welcome to another episode of Human Garbage, where today we'll be taking a look at the paranormal. Ghost Adventures is where three guys parade around trying to make it seem like ghosts are real. They're not, but you know, any way to make a quick buck. Today on this particular episode of Ghost Adventures, they will be traveling to London to take a look at the Hellfire Caves. I never believed in ghosts until I came face to face with one, so I set out on a quest to capture what I once saw onto video. This guy said he had an encounter with a ghost at a really young age, and that's what makes him go hunt ghosts. Yeah, that's like me saying, you know, yeah, I've seen, I, yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen the Bigfoot once. I'm trying to find more Bigfoots, but I found I saw the one Bigfoot. He was a partier. So he was a partier, and I think he, he started the Hellfire Club principally to have fun. So what you're saying is it wasn't really a cult. It's all really just an excuse to just drink wine and just bang a bunch of whores. If anything, it feels more like a swingers party, like a medieval weird kind rather than like, you know, a devil worshiping club. Brought a baboon to one of the meetings, dressed it as the devil. Knees, he was crying, begging for forgiveness because he believed it was the devil. This whole baboon story seems a little suspect. People were very religious back then. And so if people even th believed that the devil could show up, they probably wouldn't even bother to even participate in any of this. This is the River Styx. It used to be a lot wider. I'm sorry, the River Styx is in Greek mythology. I really feel like the mixing metaphors and religious beliefs and all of this, just to, you know, drive up a little funny, goofy story. Oh, okay. bro, I just got so I dizzy. know, I was dizzy. A lot of people get that in here. Like, really? Not, like, yeah. I'm sure if they felt any said, I'm po I'm 100% positive. If they mentioned any other kind of sensation, she would have had the same exact answer of, yeah, other people said that happened too. Oh, my foot's felt fall asleep in when I was standing. A lot of people get that in here. Whoa, I I can taste my tongue now. A lot of people get that in here. Oh. I got a lot of blood flow going on down there. Everyone else feel, you know, like ready and pumped up, ready to like, you know, slam it. A lot of people get that in here. It's always hard to take places like this real because if you say anything, people who work there to make a living, obviously, will just say yes other and yes and. They will just confirm what you've said, whether it's because of where you are or not. Your what was that? They kind of try to make this sound pass off like, oh, it was there and it didn't come from any of us. If anything, it just seems like it's for, oh, just on a different audio track, which could be 100% true for all we know. Nothing is written. Nothing is documented. This dude is such a ham. Like, who acts like this? He knows the ghosts aren't real, but he's like, the money's too good. He's got a show and multiple seasons out of it. Here it is, guys. We found Stonehenge. Dude, there it is. The Hollywood sign. We fucking found it. As someone who was a kid and discovered signs at a very early age, I knew it was my life's goal to just hunt for signs, you know? And here we go. We found one. They tried to hide from me, but I found the Hollywood sign. This whole farce is so unbelievable. The noise sounds like it's coming from a walkie-talkie because it, it's a little staticky when you hear it. And that's not even a good walkie-talkie and they have a ton of equipment they could be using. I feel like... So this now validates that whatever grabbed Aaron's back was the spirit that told him this already before it happened. They're saying these two instances completely validates everything that's happening, even though we can't believe it. We just watched it happen. But for all we know, the dude could have just sh shake the camera like, oh, oh, if we're going by that logic, everything, everything is validated then. That both God is and is not real. Just based on two facts that we're not really one hundo on. Those are very loud. What the f***? That's moving. What is it? Look! 
Can you not see that? Oh my Whoa. god. Oh! Did you guys hear that? You hear that? Whoa, what is what's going on? Why is that moving? Do you understand why that's moving? Ah! Of the night came when I visually saw an apparition in front of me, then photographed what I believe I saw, debunking the possibility of matrixing by this second photo. That's about all the proof they've really given to us to prove that this place is really haunted. But you know, let me go on a little adventure by myself. He ended up getting fired for doing that, but it proves my point. It uses the same tricks over and over again. He got this his cape pulled, saying, I just got pulled so hard, dude, bro. Like, who's to say he just didn't just like shake the camera like I did and then say that? It, it's, it's all stuff that we can't prove, so we have to believe them, which in of itself is possibly lying to ourselves. The wording the voiceover gives, it, it, it gives a lot of, it may or may not be real. Like, uh, we couldn't, based on this evidence, we couldn't infer whether what the noise came from and if it was an apparition that caused the noise. So as of right now, the noise might have just happened because of a different noise that caused that noise to happen. So as of right now, we're not saying it was a ghost. All in all, it's a, it's a reality show. Reality shows lie 100% of the time, especially American t especially American made reality shows because they gussy up everything. Thank you for watching this episode of Human Garbage. If you like this episode of Human Garbage, don't forget that you're also trash. See you next time when I maybe cook something.